Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Today uh, is a beautiful day here in Southern, Southern California, and I wanted to do a quick review of this uh, blaster sidekick for you. Um, so they call this a portable car and bike dryer, and uh, I agree with them. It actually does a really great job in that, and I use it for a lot of different purposes around the shop, and, uh, and um, you know, just to detail cars and things like that that I have. And uh, this one is 120 volt, 950 watt, eight amp. Let's see, model SK-1. Okay, and it is, um, you know, powered by plugging it in, obviously. It's got a three prong um, uh, power here. Um, and it's a relatively light unit. I'd say it weighs around four or five pounds, maybe, something like that. Um, it comes with these two attachments, um, which is really all I've ever needed. In fact, I only use this one because it gives me kind of the most power output. Now, one thing about why, what the, the things I use this for, um, it's got these uh, nice uh, kind of rubber, harder, harder rubber kind of feet. And it's really meant on all parts so that it minimizes any damage it might do to your car, for example, if you if you were to hit your car with it as you're going through this, right? So um, um, let's see if there's anything else here. Yeah, nothing. It's only got one switch and one mode on and off. And I really like that because I like the placement of it. I can hold it and turn it off and on very easily with that toggle switch. Um, but so the things I use it for, I, I, I do a lot of woodworking around the shop. And uh, I don't have an air compressor because I've never really needed one. Um, the reason being um, I've got uh, an electric nail gun. And I've got uh, all my all my tools are basically electric. Um, and if I ever need to inflate a tire, I've got a little tire inflator kind of pump, which is very small. And then I also have kind of the hand pump over there for the bikes. So I don't really need a big air compressor. And I've yet to been able to make the case for one. So uh, I've been using this guy for all the things that I would... Um, uh, use an air compressor for around the shop, which is mainly to just clean up surfaces with high air pressure. So I use it for that, so blasting off the dust, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. But I also use it on my car for two things. And one is to clean the surface of the car, uh, even when it's really dirty. I just blow off all the dust and dirt off the car without washing it, okay? I find that I can save uh, washes by just doing that and, and, and using a, a really good high-end microfiber cloth and one of my detailing products up here. Probably um, I, use, uh, I use this guy a lot. I'm actually, uh, this bottle is empty. I got a big refill bottle back there. So I'll do a quick review on this at some point. This is really good stuff. Uh, and it comes, this is the other uh, beat maker paint protection, double black, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, uh, so I, I use it with that, but I, I find that I don't ever use water anymore if I, if I can clean the cars um, um, with, with just blowing them off with that and then using the rags and, and the, uh, um, the solutions. So anyway, uh, let's get to it real quick. I'm gonna show you how this thing operates. Kind of got one handed today, so, uh, and an injured hand at that. So give me one second. All right, got it plugged in. And I've, I usually vacuum first before I use this, but I, I've got a lot of dust on here that you can't see right now. Let me get, let me move this. And, uh, and this thing makes quick work of it. Pretty high pressure. I don't know if you can tell, but let's see if there's some dust down here. Now 
let's try the floor. So yeah, it's pretty powerful. Like I'll just show you what I do. be asking uh, why not why wouldn't I just use a leaf blower if you're gonna do that or or use my um, my shop vac because a lot of shop vacs you can you can take the uh, the hose and connect it to the other end and get a little blower but look how portable this is I can just grab this and walk all over the place and blow at things you know See, that's super portable. And I don't know if you guys can see all the dust coming off of the stuff, but there's actually quite a bit. I hadn't anticipated it being that much. And, you know, stuff like this, like a little rack where I'm working and I don't have a chance to really cover it because it would kind of impede my work. It's just super nice to have like a little blower like this around um, to uh, knock all that dust off. It gets a little warm after use. It's a tiny, it's a tiny bit warm right now. But again, nothing uncomfortable. I've used it for extended periods of time working on car, um, and uh, it's got a little filter down here. So you probably want to clean that filter. You can see I've got a lot of dust on there right now. Um, and the whole idea is that th 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 why this is better than like a leaf blower for your car, for example, is it filters the air really well before it shoots it out so that if you've been detailing all day, you're not gonna get little dust particles and sawdust and crap like that all over your car. So um, again, highly recommend the product. Uh, it's been uh, a, a real great addition to the shop. I've had it for over a year, I think now. And it actually came recommended to me by the guy that originally uh, detailed my, um, my car. Uh, he had one of these and I was like, oh, what the heck is that? And, and it is one of the only tools that I was this and obviously some of the uh, polishers and things like that, that. But one of the only tools that he had that was that was something I hadn't seen and, and I really liked it. And I wish I could tell you how much air specifically gets put out. Uh, I'm sure you can research that on the Amazon listing. I'll put links to the product description below. Um, this uh, is available at any retail shop online. Uh, that, that sells detailing products. But again, I barely use it for detailing anymore because it's become such a good uh, addition to the shop that I just use it to um, detail, you know, clean up the shop quite a bit now. Um, and uh, it store, stows away very easily. And uh, you know, right, here we go. I usually just keep it right up here. Nice and neat. And uh, yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully that helped you make your make your purchase decision. Uh, if you um, have any questions about this specific item, go ahead and leave uh, it in the description. Or if you have other products that you feel like are similar or better or different in some way that you um, uh, makes it makes them useful to you, I'd like to hear about them in the description. Uh, if you have other product reviews you'd like for me to do that you saw around the shop. Uh, um, uh, go ahead and leave those in the description too. Um, I appreciate thumbs ups and subscribes, but you don't have to do them. Um, thank you and have a great day.